Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have more to cover from Shady Aftermath and Tia's on our radar once again today for different reasons. As we dive in, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, turn on notifications and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So we'll start with Ti's latest antiques and on 50's birthday, Ti stared things up by pulling some tricks from 50's hat this time around and chose to challenge 50 to a hit versus battle. For your birthday, I offer you a challenge, sir. Pull your up, man, with 20 of your records, man. Sit across from me, man, and get this work, man. You know what I'm saying? But I understand if you don't want to answer to that challenge, because last time you got challenged, kind of wear dust as your ass off. So, you might not want to do that. So, huh, well, guess who ain't scared of your ass, 50? <laughs> Look, man, pull up. Pull on up. Pull on up, man. Pull on up, 50. Bring your ass on outside, 50. Bring your records, bring your hit records with you. You and Dr. Dre and Eminem and all y'all, got them the G Unit, all y'all bring y'all, y'all bring y'all ass on that. Come on, see the king. Now, this wouldn't be the first time 50 gets challenged for hits versus. Ja Rule already tried before, and 50's response was that he was in no mood to do some charity. And I've noticed a pattern with those that challenge artists for hits versus battles recently. But I'll keep that to myself, I'll just share how some have reacted to this. On Twitter, a user states, T.I. gotta have the row row, thinking he can smoke fifth, and I like T.I but I can't forget the track with Buck Luda and T.I. and how he got bodied on that one by Luda. And the user reacting to this had the same thought. 50 gonna play Luda's verse of Buck's album and knowing 50's level of pettiness, that's not out of the question. He uses everything in his arsenal, no exceptions like we've come to expect from 50. Of course, there are people on the other side that believe T.I. will win it easily, the user states. Either you're too young or not music fans if you think T.I.P. losing SMH. And I'll share my thoughts on this one. In the United States, it may be debatable on who takes it, but anyone in the world can tune into these versus battles, not just people from the hood in the south, and internationally at Africa, Europe, Australia, and Asia. Based on 50 certifications outside the US, it will be an easy win for 50 Cent from the international audience. Add that to those in the US that side with 50 and you get your answer. That's my two cents, and since then 50 Cent has responded to TI's challenge. He took to Twitter. Yo, somebody passed here the greens they gave Smokey in Friday, lol. Ah, damn. And on the 50s post, a user is humbly asking for 50s help after an exchange he had with TI on Instagram. The user replied to TI's original post stating, TIP, you're a legend, but you aren't on the same tier 50 Cent is. He is a better rapper and far more greater. 50 got the South unlock more than you do, King. I hope he accepts your challenge and washes you. Go battle Jeezy or Gucci Mane, 50 is an icon. And this caught TI's attention for obvious reasons. He responded, shut up and go get you some pom poms. And towards the end of his reply added, can't none of these brothers mess with me on that mic if we're being honest about it, none of them. Then, now, and never in the future. Now go sit in the corner until you're ready to apologize. And after I read this response, I understood why 50 tweeted that Tia may be on some strong greens. And this user is asking 50, please make Tia apologize to me. And some people have taken things a little more serious. The only thing Tia is good at is cheating on his wife and being forgiven for it. And this reminded me of the Eminem diss to Button on 4, where Eminem stated the only hits Button is known for is when he hits women. Same energy if you ask me, and we head to the next topic at hand. A new report of the music industry in the United States for the first half of the year has revealed something quite interesting, despite in the score pretty much ignoring Eminem's latest album, It Didn't Matter. And thanks to Eminem at the forefront, Innoscope leads the industry in terms of market share for the first half of 2020. Recently, we got the report that Eminem's latest album in the United Kingdom was the top release of 2020, and now we find out that Innoscope is number one in the United States led by Eminem. And this is a guy Innoscope signed in the 90s, and I say, not bad for an artist that the MSM keeps telling us has been irrelevant since the early 2000s. But here we are in 2020, actual numbers and the facts say otherwise. 
And here's a reaction to this. Maybe Inuscope should update Eminem's RIAA. And this is sad because Inuscope is yet to update albums by Eminem that are approaching diamond status. But I think they are waiting for these albums to go diamond before updating. The news is more impactful like that. So what are your thoughts on these? Tell us below, like and subscribe if you haven't, and see you on the next one.